Now he'll outstare the light. To be furious is to be frightened out of fear. Of course, when Shakespeare wrote those lines, there was plenty about lightning to be frightened of. Buildings were routinely struck, and with little understanding of electricity and grounding techniques, the results were usually disastrous. It wasn't until 300 years later that electricity was understood better. Can anyone tell me who conducted one of the first and probably most famous electricity experiments? Corinne. Thomas Francois d'Alibert de France. In 1752, he held an iron rod in one hand to obtain an electrical discharge from a storm cloud, sending sparks to an insulated ground wire he had in his other hand. I think the professor was talking about the kite guy. Well, while Corinne is correct about Monsieur d'Alibard's experiment, I was indeed speaking of the kite guy, Benjamin Franklin, who also, in 1752, flew a kite in a Philadelphia thunderstorm, which passed an electrical charge down the length of its damp string to a key tied to the end of the string, causing sparks to jump from the key to Mr. Franklin's other insulated hand. Electricity is one of the fundamental forces of nature, and as with many powerful forces, it has great potential to create as well as to destroy. Test sequence initiated. Ever since Corinne told Vaughn that his mother might have been involved in the accident at Paradine, He's been acting strange. Today, I saw him sketching a picture of the wormhole when someone was going into it, and he tried to hide it from me. I think that someone is him. You think Vaughn is planning to go in the wormhole? Why? To find his mother. You're jumping to conclusions. Besides, drawing pictures isn't exactly a crime. Uh, guys? Your gravity sensor. The wormhole's open. Vaughn. already went through. Uh, Josie, don't stand there. If the wormhole just opened, it can open again. Guys. Whoa. Gu guys? October 4th, 1879. Okay, so my mom drops me at this boarding school, and I'm thinking it's like all the other places I've gone. Students. Teachers, principal, you know, like normal schools. But it's not. Weird stuff happens here. Really weird stuff. And what's this guy doing here? Is this floating sphere the key to the mystery? Something's going on and someone's behind it, and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. There is nothing wrong with a Blake Halsey High. No, oh, this can't be. This can't be 1879. Get those new students' cases upstairs on the double. Mr. Ravenier's not paying you to dawdle. I'm going out front. Okay. Chichester Preparatory Academy? What's a Chichester? <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> if you please. I have to get out of here. Turner, we've been expecting you. You are Miss Leslie Turner of Kansas City, one of our first students here at New Chichester Preparatory Academy. I received the telegram yesterday that you'd be arriving early. Uh, yeah, that's right, Principal Durst. I believe you mean Headmistress Durst. Now listen, Mr. Avenir isn't paying you to chat. Get working or I'll stop your pay. 
Are those waist overalls you are wearing? Uh, yes. They're very popular out west in Kansas City. We're out east now. I suggest you change out of that ridiculous outfit before Mr. Avenir sees you. Mr. Avenir? Your trunks arrived a few days ago. You will find them in your room at the top of the stairs. That's great. I just need to check something out in Professor's um, the science office first. You may do so after you have changed into more appropriate attire. <laughs> but uh... after. What an odd child. What am I supposed to do with this? Is everything all right, Miss? Uh, Trent, I mean, Turner. Pleasure to meet you, Miss Turner. My name is Blake Holsey. <laughs> Blake Holsey? You must be one of the incoming students. I overheard Headmistress Durst saying to my father that one had arrived early. Oh, yeah, I, I appeared unexpectedly. Well, the other students should be along any time now. Oh, that means I don't have much time. For what? Oh, to find a friend of mine. You didn't happen to see another new student, um, a boy about my age, wandering around looking like he didn't belong. No. However, if you'd allow me to show you around our new school, perhaps we can find him together. Miss Turner. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, and I shan't take no for an answer. <laughs> The architecture of the school is modeled after a typical gentleman's country estate of Britain. Mr. Avenir feels that a setting such as that is, how did he put it, more conducive to educational excellence. Mr. Avenir, is he the architect? Mr. Avenir paid for the construction of the school. My father is the architect. Though Mr. Avenir gave him some very odd plans and requirements to execute. What do you mean by odd? Rooms had to face just so. Air vents had to be positioned here and not there. The professor's science office was to have a subfloor made of palladium installed underneath the tile. Wait, palladium? Under the floor of the science office? That's the least dense metal on the planet. Blast! You just stepped into my photograph. That film is very expensive, you know. I'm very sorry, Mr. Eastman. There's a storm coming. We best get inside. Miss Turner? Strange events centered in or around the science office? 
You mean other than a pretty young woman jumping up and down in the middle of the floor? I mean like unexplained scientific phenomena. Listen to you. Most girls our age are more interested in art and music than science. I think you'll find that I'm not like most girls. I can see that. I, um... Uh, I was never much interested in science. All that peering into microscopes and flying kites in storms. It's not for me. What is that? The vortex. It's open. The what? Vaughn? Josie, come on! Josie, who's Josie? She's Josie. She's Miss Turner. Well, she's coming with me. Unhand her. Unhand her yourself. Both you guys unhand me? Josie, we all gotta get back through the vortex before... It closes. So that's how you knew where I was. Once we found this photo of you and your boyfriend, we knew you were stuck in the past. He's not my boyfriend. And how did the wormhole happen in the first place? Tell Josie about your father. You know I would, if I was talking to her. I can't believe you're mad at me. I can't believe you thought I'd go through the wormhole without talking to you about it. Now, of course, you jump to conclusions. That's kind of the reason we're all stuck here now, isn't it? Guys, look at this sandwich. It is so cute. Focus, Marshall. Oh. Vaughn said that his father was doing some tests down in Paradigm. Something to do with those tests must have been what opened the wormhole to this time. Remember last year's production of The Importance of Being Earnest? We raided the costume department, waited for Victor to start another run, and then we went through. We had to fit in here. Otherwise, we might risk altering the past. We can't risk that, right, Josie? You think I want to stay here? Oh, guys, I hate to spoil our little costume party here, but we're stuck here. There's no open wormhole. If we don't do something, we're going to be stuck munching little mini sandwiches for the rest of our lives. Which won't be very long. The real students are going to be here soon and then our cover is blown. We've got to do something. Maybe we can open the vortex from this side. But we'd need a ton of energy. Energy we just don't have. <clears throat> oh, Miss Turner. Shh. So his boyfriend's coming. Blake is not my boyfriend. <laughs> Miss Turner. I reported the strange occurrence that happened in the science office to my father. He suggested that it may have something to do with the approaching storm, an electrical discharge or some such idea. That's right. There's a storm coming. Blake, would you happen to know where we might find some sticks, string, and cloth? I'd assume there'd be some in the basement. Show us. Certainly, Miss Turner. Josie, what's going on? The storm, lightning, thunder, we're gonna recreate Benjamin Franklin's kite experiment. Excuse me, Miss Turner, I... Okay, we're going to build a kite. We're gonna attach a key to the string. We're gonna fly it in the storm. It's gonna get zapped by lightning. That's gonna zap the Palladium subfloor in Z's office, and we go home. Hold on, there's a Palladium subfloor in Z's office? That has to be why the vortex is focused there. Miss Turner, I must whoa, insist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Meanwhile, when we do this experiment with the kite, how do we avoid, oh, uh, I don't know, uh, getting electrocuted? We can attach the kite string to a non-conductive surface in the office. That way the lightning strike should arc safely from the key on the string to the floor. Will someone please tell me what's going on here? My name is Josie Trent. I'm from the future. We all are. And we need your help to get back home. You believe me, don't you? Stand right where you are. Oh, hey, it's... No, it's not. I have just received word from the train station that my first five students have now arrived. That, coupled with a very interesting discovery I made earlier, leads me to only one conclusion. You five are imposters. And Mr. Sturst, I can explain. Yes, you can. And you will. The constable is on his way to apprehend you. The constable? To apprehend us? Yes. Mr. Avenir is also on his way. So if you would all be so kind as to accompany me to my office. Oh, Blake, please. I'm sorry, miss. I can be of no further assistance to you. Some boyfriend. No 
No good. The windows are bolted shut. And the door's locked. The storm is almost here. We've got to get to Z's office. Well, I said when they take us outside, we make a break for it. Yeah, I'm with you. We'll scatter and meet back at the science office tonight. Blake? I believe you. That you're from the future. What changed your mind? I thought you might want them for your trip home. going over there? I think we're ready. I just wanted to say I'm sorry I jumped to the wrong conclusions about you going into the vortex. I should have thought things through. Or asked you before things got out of hand. <laughs> Thanks. That means a lot. But I assure you, Mr. Avenir, the moment I discovered the fraud that was being perpetrated upon us... Upon well, us, I... headmistress. Don't you mean upon you? Well, uh, yes. And the moment I discovered the imposters, I detained them and sent for the authorities. Don't you worry, sir. I'll make sure they're properly taken care of. They're gone. We shall search the school immediately, Mr. Avenir. No need. I know where they are. in the school somewhere. I'll search upstairs, you search downstairs. I can find those rascals if it's the last thing I do. Well done, Josie. Mr. Halsey, you and I need to have a little chat about your future. We did it. Vaughn. Right. <laughs> Where's Vaughn? What? Where am I? You're safe, Vaughn. Where are the others? They've gone on ahead. Hey, wait a minute, they've gone on ahead, they didn't send me with them. I can't. Until the wormhole opens again, you have to stay hidden. An important event is about to happen, and you mustn't interfere. Where are we? What year is this? 1977. Ten years before you were born. Are you sure he came through the vortex with you? Maybe he got trapped in 1879. 
There's no record, either written or photographic, that Vaughn got left behind. One thing I did discover is that Mr. Avenir eventually changed the school's name from New Chichester to Blake Holsey Preparatory Academy in honor of Blake, who went on to become a very distinguished science teacher and later the chairman of the school's board of governors. So, where is Vaughn? I don't know. Josie, you're not thinking of doing something rash. No, but I'm gonna find him. Nothing good will come of this.